Hello. I'm going to uh, walk you through the basics here of, of inheritance, um, which is a, a, a concept that is used often in, in computer programming. Now we're going to be looking at uh, inheritance with the Java programming language and we're not really going to spend a lot of time talking about some of the more advanced features of inheritance uh, but we're just going to kind of look at the idea uh, from a fairly simple perspective. Now what I have in this uh, example of this is three classes okay so this this uh, this uh, demonstration here uh, expects that you have some knowledge of um, Java programming language and as well as some knowledge of uh, object oriented programming uh, limited uh, okay so in this particular example what I'm going to show you I've got my NetBeans open here I'll, I'll get to that now and you can see in this example we've got three classes that are open. We have the uh, cl the A class, the B class, and the C class. And in the, in our C class here, we've declared three variables: uh, x, y, and uh, z, uh, all of type integer. Below this, we've got class B, and uh, what we can see here is that class B extends A. And the significance of this uh, we'll get to in a moment. Uh, down below here we've got class C which extends B. Now it's important to sort of understand what's going on here. Uh, the magic that's that's going on is that when we when we use this extends keyword what we're really telling the computer to do is to declare these variables inside of B, but it's they're implied. Okay, so in this particular case, B will have uh, D, but it will also have X, Y, and Z. Now, the class C, which is down at the bottom, extends B. So what this means is to include a copy of whatever is in B. Okay, so in this in this particular case, it means include what uh, int. It means to include int D as well as int X, Y, and Z. Uh, so that that means that the C class uh, contains um, F, D, X, Y, and Z. Now down here, we in our main method we can we can use NetBeans to explore the the object. So another way of seeing this is that if we if we look at the object here, we can use a dot, and uh, here we can see uh, x, y, and z. Okay, which is what we would expect. Um, these are uh, variables uh, that are part of the part of class A. Uh, and, but when we look at B, we can see here that it's included D, X, Y, and also Z. Okay, so you can see that it's it's copied, it's made a copy of those variables that it's uh, in, inherited. Okay, so the one of the easy ways of thinking about the inheritance in programming is that it's making simply making a copy of the classes. Uh, that it's inheriting from, uh, but the copy is implied and it's not uh, explicit. Uh, so that's a that's a fairly short but simple, concise uh, view of, of inheritance. Now it's important to note that the the copying extends not only to variables but also to uh, functionality. So that means that if we include a uh, a function, for example, f. Uh, this function now is also included by b, uh, and in the case of c, it's implied as well. So that if we 
use our C object, we can see that it's got the F function now that can be called because the F function is implied by B, uh, where B extends A, and it's defined in A. Okay, so that's a fairly simple uh, explanation and uh, an easy way of understanding uh, how inheritance works. Uh, and uh, it can give you some idea of about where to go with it next. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll, t we'll go through some other aspects of inheritance in another video. Thank you.